Um, yeah, here I am in front of the camera, not having a clue what I'm going to talk about, so I shall just talk. Um, yeah, there is one thing. I was listening to uh, some music today, surprise, surprise, but I was uh, reading about how, do you remember Men at Work and Down Under, which they had out, oh gosh, how many years ago now, I can't remember. But apparently a judge has ruled that uh, Men at Work's Down Under song was pretty much a direct nick from a thing called the Cookaboa song. Now, I listened to the Cookaboa song and I couldn't hear anything of Down Under in there. I listened to Down Under and I couldn't hear anything of the Cookaboa song in there. So what's the judge been listening to? Because if he rules that the similarity and it's very vague if there is a similarity, maybe a slight similar rhythm, but if he, well, he has pretty much ruled that um, the writer of the Cookaboo song can claim a share of the royalties of Down Under. Um, and, yeah, I mean, what about all the songs based on Bo Diddley? I mean, come on. We've got eight notes to play with. There's got to be a lot of songs with some similarities. And there are many, many songs that are closer to each other than Down Under and the Cookaboo song. So the judge has got to open a real can of worms there, I think. Pretty dangerous territory. And there could be an explosion of claims by um, unknown writers wanting to cash in on the hits. Because um, there are one or two notes the same as the song that they wrote. So... Yeah, I think it's a mistake to make that ruling, but um, judges will do these kinds of things. On the subject of music, I uh, dug out an album. I've been listening to this album over here, which I shall bring here now. I shall show you that. I don't know whether that's focusing or not. This is an album by, as you can see there, oh, there, The Lemon Trees. And... This is an album which I would put up pretty much in the same league as if you like the Beatles and Sgt. Pepper and Abbey Road, Magical Mystery Tour. Uh, this album by The Lemon Trees, which is called Open Book, is up there very close to them, in my opinion. There are a couple of um, songs on YouTube from this album, so I'll put links to those songs over there in the sidebar. They're uh, what are they called? Child of Love and the other one is Love is in Your Eyes. Uh, there are stronger songs on the album. The album's not available so far as I know anymore, but if you do see one in a second-hand shop or on eBay or Amazon or somewhere, then see if you can get a copy because a very simple album cover, that's the band. They've split up now. They were only together for about two years. I'm not sure what happened. They were working on their second album, and then suddenly it was all cancelled. But uh, great album, open book by the Lemon Trees. If you manage to find a copy, grab it, listen to it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I'll just make mention, because I see my battery power is going down a bit here, uh, the format that I, I'm using at the moment, the widescreen format, um, I've chosen that because when I use the regular format, for some reason, even though when I put the video together, watch it back on the computer before posting it to YouTube. It's sort of squashed like that and I'm stretched like that, which is a bit weird. And so I've gone for the, the, what do you call it? The, um, yeah, the widescreen format. Blank, totally. Um, because that's the only one that really makes me look anything more like what I'm supposed to look. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'd better stop there because I think the uh, camera is starting to wear out of battery power. And so I've no idea what that is on the TV behind me. But Harvey's enjoying it. Some sort of cartoon. And I'm totally out of touch. There's a wonderful bit in The Simpsons the other day when uh, it was a flashback to when Homer was young. And, and uh, Homer and Barney, I think, said something about... Uh, Homer's dad doesn't have it. And he said, well, I used to have it, but that was until they changed what it was. And uh, you wait. Any younger people watching this video, you wait, because your turn will come, and 
you'll suddenly realise you don't have it anymore either. But actually you will have it. It's just that the kids don't recognise it because your it is not only different, but it's superior. Hmm. That's what comes with age, guys. Catch you later.